before we talk about the equation of a straight line, there are two things that you need to know. How to read coordinates and how to substitute values in an expression. That's why I'm going to put these two warm-up questions at the start of this video. If you're struggling to do them, then I think you should watch my videos on these topics. So go ahead, pause the video and try. Graphs help us to see information. They can help us predict costs in a business, model how viruses spread, or show the path of a flying object. The simplest form of a graph is a straight line because all we need to plot it are two points. But that's not the only way we can tell how a graph will look. We can also use the equation of the line. And that's just really like a rule that all the points on the line obey. All straight lines look the same way. They are in the form y equal mx plus c. We can use this equation to draw the line and find any of its points. So let's talk a little bit about what each part of the equation means. First off, we have y and x. They make up the coordinates of the points on the line, and they change depending on wherever the point is. m and c now, they always stay the same. c is the y-intercept in the equation, and it tells us where the line cuts the y-axis, c for cut. So if I had a line that was say y equal mx plus 5, that just tells me that my line cuts the y-axis at 5. And then m is the slope or the gradient. It tells us how the line moves or how steep the line is. Its formula is rise over run. For example, a gradient of 3 tells us that our line is going to rise by 3 every time it runs by 1. While a gradient of a third tells us that our line rises by 1 every time it runs by 3. A larger gradient means that the line is steeper, while a smaller one means that it's slighter. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the gradient very soon in the next video. But for now, the two main things that you need to remember, M tells us how the line moves, and C tells us where the line cuts. Now, let's see how the equation of a line works, right? So let's say I have a line 2x, or y equals 2x minus 3. Now, this tells me first that my line cuts the y-axis at minus 3. My y-intercept is minus 3. So I know that I can put my line right there. It's going to pass through that point. So I can mark that off. Next, the gradient is 2, which means that my line is moving up by 2 units each time I go across. So if I go across once and go up 2, that point is going to be on my line, so I can mark that off. And now that I have those two points, then I can draw my line. So that means my graph would look like this. Now the equation of a line can also tell us the points on the line. For example, I know that 2, 1 is going to be on the line, because if I put it into my equation, then it makes it true. On the other hand, I know that 3, 4 could not be on my line because it doesn't work with my equation. Now here's one thing to remember. To get the gradient and the y-intercept, it has to be in the general form. So if I got, for example, 2y equal 4x plus 6, then first I'd have to set it to the general form before I could know what the gradient or the y-intercept is. In the next activity, I'm going to give you some practice playing around with the equation of a straight line graph to understand it a little better.